What's going on Guap Tasters? I'm back with another video and in this video as you can see from the title and the thumbnail I'm about to give y'all my updated aim assist values for the Insidious Strip. Like I told y'all in my last video those were not my final settings. These are not even my final settings you know what I'm saying but I'm bringing y'all along with me as I go. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you stay tuned and watch the full video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on that post notification bell icon so you don't miss any new uploads to the channel and also smash that like button. Let's get into the video. Alright so as as you all know i am using the updated insidious script so if you do want to download it the link will be in the description box below before we get into the actual settings i want to make a long story short real quick so i always wonder like why y'all always say y'all getting a lot of screen shake when i get y'all my values but me personally i wasn't getting a lot of screen shake you know what i'm saying so what i did was i reset my zen all the way and i see exactly what y'all talking about you feel me i haven't reset my zen in a long time so it was kind of well needed but these are fresh values right here. I'm talking about all new stuff. You know what I'm saying? I got to add my script back on my Zen, but it's all good because now that I know that it's reset and I know it works right, I'm going to be giving y'all some good settings to work with. You feel what I'm saying? And that's for my console players. I will be explaining what you need to do in order to get some good settings. Also, it's real easy. Just chop down the numbers that I give you right now. You feel what I'm saying? So in this video right here, I was using the TD21 V5. So I had that on. My shape is at circle. Of course, as always, it's not going to change. My radius is at 25. And like I said, for my console players, if you are experiencing a lot of screen shake, just cut that down into half to like a 15 or something, you know what I'm saying? In between that or even maybe a five. Do what's good for you. So I'm just giving you like a basis of what I'm starting with and then you can just put it over there and just chop it down. You feel what I'm saying? So my radius was at a 25. My speed was at a 20. I had spiral off. I'm not using that yet. But as the videos come, I'm going to be changing it. So I had that off. Boost on fire off. The tracking on so the tracking size is at three and the tracking speed was at six so we're gonna go over to rotational aim assist so i had that on also the rotational size was at 30 and the rotational speed was at 30. so that's that i had bats aim assist off now we're gonna go to the uh the mod activation so for the mod activation for the td21 aim assist i had that on ads and fire or fire so if you go to mod activation, you will see that. And for the rotational aim assist, I had that on ADS or fire. So those, the only two things that I had on, the rest of them, you can just play with them yourself. But those are my settings that I'm using in this video. And like I said, I'm not even done with it because we still got the bats aim assist. We got the, uh, like all type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I might even make them stronger because this right here, it, it's good, but it ain't, it ain't how I want it to be. You feel what I'm saying? And like I said, I had to reset my Zen, um, which is a good thing because I'm going to be giving you guys some good settings. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on that post notification bell icon. And also smash that like button. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.